everybody. Welcome to another episode of Great Spaces. And I'm proud to say we are at the Esmeralda Boutique Resident Hotel. And I'm super honored by Andreas, the owner, for giving us this opportunity to film this establishment. Let's get to it. Well, first of all, my first impressions were I saw bikes and I found out that you could do bike rentals. And secondly, I saw the reception area. So when I go into a space, I like to think about the senses and the first thing I thought was visual. I, I like the fact that like the planting is woven within the architecture. It's like organic, gives you that rustic feel. It's such a Tulum vibe. And I like little details like this. And I could tell the people who crafted this space or these spaces in particular, took their time because it's all about the details, the devils and the details. And if you look, I think this is like limestone or some type of, you know, at first I was like, wow, this is regular blemishes, but they did that on purpose. So locally, all these materials are found and handcrafted. Take a look at this. Like look at little moments like this. Beautiful. So there's a lot of amenities in this building. There's 24 hour reception, 24 hour security. You could do laundry, we'll get to that later. There's also in-house dining, so you can get breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I believe this is my place. <laughs> I always get lost in this place. Which is really cool, it's just like, this building is very porous. So you have like these little pockets peekabooing out into the context of the uh, nature and out into the other context of buildings. Let's keep going. This boutique is, has seven penthouses and six junior suites. And it has three plunge pools. Well, some of these spaces have plunge pools in them. Not all of them do. But the ones that do have them are really cool. I'll show you those later. But for now, I'll show you the penthouse. So this penthouse is consisting of one bedroom and one and a half bath. So I'm gonna give you a tour. And remember what I was saying about these pockets of space? Take a look at this. Look at that sky up there. Isn't that beautiful? So you could just come out here, relax, shoot the breeze, get some air, and then you can step right in and back in your place again. So this is the first bathroom. Part of the one and a half bathroom. And again, like what I was saying with the details, you can take a look at the mirror and the lighting. You know, little things like this, that separates you from, from the others. It's not quite often where I see the light fixture bouncing off another natural material just to give you that uh, Tulum vibe, that organic feel, a really cool uh, element. Anyway, let's keep going. And I'm not like a big cook, but this is a small island. And every time I see a kitchen, when I see an island, I get really excited. So these are all raw materials. And then, then you have like, your, uh, which was really cool. They have like different menus here. And then they have like the refreshment menus. And then everything is concealed to, to save space. So, you know, you have this modern sheet going on with this play of minimalism. So it's actually safe square footage. And then you have a, a fridge here, which I had to figure out it was here. Uh, some things are missing, because, yeah. But anyway, you have like your uh, things there, your refrigerator, your utensils. All right, let's keep going. So this is the living room. And this is like, would you say this is the patio? Okay. So this patio is quaint. And this is kind of like, gives you the views out to this beautiful building over here. And you could just relax. Again, a reintroduction to raw materials and that Tulum vibe. It's kind of like Tuluminati. Come out here with your brim hats, you know, just kick it. So yeah, it's really cool. And you have the light fixtures here. It gives you that industrial feel like you're in a warehouse. I like that play of like modern and like old school and like new school. 
Really cool. Let's keep going. Let's keep evading. They also did this with the staircase where it's like you have this old lacquer wood and they paint it over it. But then you have like, I feel like, I, I thought this was steel, but this is also wood as well. But it looks like steel. It has this industrial feel to it, but it's also like uh, interwoven with raw materials. So we're headed up to the bedroom. This is the only bedroom. Can't quite say it's a master bedroom, but it feels like a master bedroom. Um, and then you have the skylight. This is controlled by reception. They have full control of it. And remember what I was saying about the half bath? Well, this is actually uh, literally a bath. It's really nice. And uh, you can take a shower in it. And remember before, with our little pockets of space. This is where we were downstairs. We were looking up to the sky. This is a continuation of it. And this little bell I was just messing around with. This is a nice mirror. Also, you can turn that light on. You get those details. And this is the other ba bathroom. What I like about this bathroom, even though it's a small little gesture, it's like double hiding. Like, it doesn't give you that feeling of claustrophobic if you feel open and free. It's a very democratic and liberal free, uh, feeling. So we go out here. Now, this is not for the faint-hearted. If you ever been to Azalik, then you will love this. It's really cool. And this is also a nice views out to the building. All right, let's keep going. The best thing about spiral stairs is going up. But the better part about spiral stairs is going down. This is actually, this can't be wood. This is too hard. I mean, this makes sense. Structurally having steel as a foundation. Very smart, very ingenious. There's another cool element, a little pottery. Like little things like that as as ambience, as a little flavor to it. The fact that it's by itself. Okay. So this is the end of the penthouse tour. Again, I just want to thank Andres, the owner, for giving us the opportunity to film this penthouse and this wonderful establishment. Also, if you want to stick around and you want to see this other space with the plush pool, I would say stick around then. Hey guys, remember when I said I was going to show you an apartment with a pool? Well, here we go. Is this open? It wasn't. So, oh, I don't see any pool here, so let's, let's go straight up there. <laughs> so you guys see the similarity and the simplicity of the uh, interior design is very similar to the penthouse that I showed you. Oh wow, this is really nice. This is a cool shelving unit. I like the way they like take a natural material, like a, just a string and just make it architecturally sound. It's really cool. This is my first time seeing this, so this is like, Genuine reactions. Man, I kind of wish the penthouse had this. This is really cool. So this is the plunge pool. Check this out, get a close up of that. Look at that, that's beautiful. So in the entire building, there's only three of these plunge pools, and I think it's worth it. If you can get it and if it's available, I think you should check it out. There's nothing like just relaxing, getting some views of, of downtown Tulum while you're in a plunge pool. That concludes the end of our tour. Again, thank you, Andres, and the owner of uh, uh, Esmeralda Boutique Hotel. 
uh, from Great Spaces. In the meantime, keep innovating and keep watching, guys. Invaders, appreciate you making it this far and watching the video. I hope you like everything you saw. In the meantime, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Share with your family and friends. And the next time, we'll be all over Mexico, so we'll have more content coming. Thank you again.